it is college bowl season. We haven't done a ton on it. So we're going to go through and we're each going to give our three favorite bowl matchups coming up here soon, not including the playoff games. Uh, so we've each got three games that we're looking forward to, maybe a, a couple more honorable mentions. But do you guys want me to start? You can go. Just say your all right, So, All right, so I got the Orange Bowl, which is uh, Tennessee and Clemson, which is perfect because it's the Orange Bowl and it's two teams that wear orange, which they should make mandatory anyway. Um, but then you, uh, my, other, my second one is the Alamo Bowl, which is Texas and Washington. Um, and then my last one I have, um, and I don't really know why, but uh, the Gator Bowl, North – I'm sorry, North Dakota, Notre Dame and South Carolina are the three that jumped off to me the most. Uh, I'll go with my three. Um, my, some of them I just went by the names of the bowl game. The San Diego County Credit Union Holiday Bowl. Uh, Oregon and UNC, which are two good teams. That's going to be a good but game. That is, They need to shorten these names. That used That's to be called long. the Poinsettia Bowl because NIU played in it uh, back in, like, 2006. It's a lot easier to say. Yes, it is. But that should be a really – Matty, the Tar Heels going to pull it off? That should be a hell of a game. Yeah, I don't know. Points. So you need points, points, points. Yeah, That's whatever the over is there, I'll take it. All State Sugar Bowl, uh, Alabama, Kansas State. Just got to love seeing Alabama in a non – uh, playoff game. That's just hilarious. So and I don't um, know about you guys. I love that. That was going to be one of my honorable mentions, Zach. I think that game is either going to be like a really good nail biter or like Alabama is going to beat them by 40. Be hilarious. But I don't know if lost. Alabama gives a damn enough to like show up to play in, in the Sugar Bowl. Uh, my third one, the Goodyear Cotton Bowl Classic uh, Tulane and USC. You'd love to see Tulane beat USC. That'd be awesome. I think I everyone... absolutely love Tulane in that game too, because Me USC too. is only minus USC's minus two. Why the fuck is USC only minus two? Yeah. Tulane. They know something. The Give bookmakers me know something. Pound, pound, pound Tulane. <laughs> I I love that one. That the, this Tulane team has like a Central Florida vibe back when they won their self-claimed national championship. Like you're not supposed to be in this game at all um, because you're Tulane and they're USC. Uh, but like I kind of like I said about Alabama, like I don't know if USC gives a damn enough to show up and like actually play Tulane. But those are all really good choices. Zach. Those should all be really good games. Maddie, which ones did you have? Um, I got um, – the first one I'm going to rattle off is um, on Christmas Eve, actually. It's Middle Tennessee State and San Diego State in the Hawaii Bowl. Love that matchup. It's two of my favorite mid-major teams. I always uh, seem to be finding myself betting on Middle Tennessee on State. Right? And I always uh, – for college foots, yeah. So Middle Ten I always find myself betting on Middle Tennessee State, and I always seem to find myself betting on San Diego State as well. So it's like I'm in a total – Mind fuck with this one, so I can't wait though to to watch two Manny, teams that I that game, usually, I seem to buy into a lot. When the NFL is not having games on Saturday or with like Christmas Eve, that's usually the only game on that day, right? Yeah, it's, and it's usually always a good one too. And points. Um, my second one: Maryland, NC State, and Duke's Mayo Bowl. Give me uh, the winner getting doused with uh, yeah, a mayo yeah. bath. I think is, uh, both, both, agreed both coaches it, agreed. <laughs> so I want to see that. I want to see one of, either one of those coaches getting doused in mayo. I think it's perfect. The, the, the gifts and the memes that are going to come from that are going to be fucking priceless. Uh, last but not least, I think it, it's an absolute perfect matchup in the Orange Bowl between two Orange Powers and Tennessee Clemson. Who's going to win the Orange Bowl? Whichever team's got the best orange in their uni, and I think that's Tennessee this week. So... Um, I think Clemson is just they're they're one of those weird they're in a weird spot. I don't know. Dabo's such a fucking strange bird, dude. He is a weird bird. Did you see his latest comment about how uh oh, the NIL uh, the NIL the, yeah the NIL uh, yeah we, we go in God's NIL around here, God's <laughs> name, God's image, and God's like okay. Under fine, that's great. Can you fucking pay the get the kids the money that everybody else is getting because they really um will stay and play there. And if you don't, they're going to leave. So 
I don't know. It's just like Dan was such a the best such part a is that broad. somebody always responds with the video of him running down the hill all by himself. <laughs> He's so fake, dude. It's just so <laughs> unbelievable. Like it's it's literally like you would draw up in a movie about college football, the sleazy, slimy coach that's that's such a fraud, but uses like everything as a front. He's exactly that guy, is what it feels like. Yeah, and he always talks about, you know, like he was, we've talked about him before, like he was one of the guys that was complaining about NIL stuff, yet he makes $5 million a year. Yeah, exactly. You know, and it's not like they were going to take the money out of his salary to pay to, you know, for the NIL stuff. But it's like, dude, But it's, it's not about Dabo, though. Yeah, like Jimbo you said, he's running Fisher, down the hill himself. Yeah. Jimbo Fisher talking about uh, how the portal's gotten crazy. Oh, he's one. the worst. He's another You're one. all your players because of money, and you still it's, were it's, bad. It's all it's all these good old boys who talk to mama really well in the living room. And they know how to to they know how to win over that sweet sweet mama of yours. Oh, those those two fuckers, man! Fuck both of them guys. I don't like either one of them. And next week we will get into the uh, college football playoff uh, final four preview: uh, TCU, Michigan, and Ohio State, Georgia. Uh, we will definitely get into that next week.